In this video, we're going to be going through how you can post lessons in Canvas using the modules feature. So in the previous video, we talked about how you could set up this course to make it simple and easy to get started. And as I mentioned before, routine is key in a fully online course. Um, so if you're doing things virtual, uh, that's going to be something similar that you would see in a classroom. You know, the more routines you can build in, the better managed the classroom is. The same thing applies to online, except it is crucial that you have routine established so that students know what to expect when they log on. So I'm just going to go over to my modules tab. And in order to get started, it's pretty simple. I'm just going to create a new module. Let's just say module one, just to start out with. And you can name this by the unit. What I would end up doing is do it by weeks or even topic would be fine. But once you have this in place, I'll need to make sure it's published so the students can see it. And then if I click Add, it will allow me to add in different things. So whether I'm talking about assignments, uh, a video, any of these things. I would start off with an assignment, though, because you can include a lot of things in an assignment. And I'm just going to name this Assignment 1 add item. You can add as many items as you would like into this. Now that that's there, if I click on assignment one, it takes me over so that I can edit this assignment. This box will give me the ability to put in uh, videos, directions, anything. So if you have video lessons, um, you found some resources on YouTube you want to use, for one, make sure they're approved so that students can view the videos if they're in YouTube. But outside of that, I can click YouTube, and let's just say I want to put in something for science class. I'm going to click Embed, and now that video is in there. And let's say that I wanted to give directions for the assignment, watch video, and complete the assignment. I'm going to say this is worth 100 points. And then for submission. For right now, I'm going to say it's an online submission. And I want my students to have text entry. So they're going to actually just type in their answers. And what I could do is put a prompt in here where the directions are. I can even put a list of questions in there. And they would be able to see it. I'm going to go down through here. And I'm going to assign to everyone, and then I need to put a due date on here. So let's just say I'm going to make it next Friday. And then I would not do anything with this available from or until, because it will lock everybody out. So all the students will be locked out of that assignment but if it's outside of those dates. And so what I've seen is these dates are set, and then a student needs to get into it after that until date, and then you forget you need to go in there and change it, and then it just creates some confusion. Once you're done, you just hit Save and Publish. And now that's my assignment. So the students can watch the video and answer those questions or post up some things. Whenever I go back to Modules, you will see that I have this there. It's published. As long as there's a green check, I'm good the students can see it. Let's say I wanted to add something else in there. I wanted to add a discussion. It would be the same thing, except you have a little bit of, a, a few things that are a little bit different. So I'm going to go through and look at this discussion. Same thing as an assignment. I can click Edit. And you'll see the exact same option. So I can even post up a video and then ask the students a question to where they have to respond to each other. Here are these options down here. I would suggest that you allow threaded replies so students can reply to each other and it stays within a thread. Also, I would make sure that users post before seeing replies. So before a student can see anybody else's response, they have to post themselves. The others are up to you. You can allow this to be graded. So if I wanted this to be a graded discussion, 
I would just put graded, let's say 100 points. And then I would make sure though the students know how they're being graded on the post. Either if you posted, then you get it 100, or whether it's content-based, you make sure they understand how they're being graded on this post. I'm gonna go through and put a due date. And then I'm gonna hit save and publish. And that's it. Everything's ready to go with that discussion. So those are just a few ways that you can get started with posting assignments. And like I said, within modules, you can have as many assignments as you want, but I would make sure to group it by week or topic, something of that nature. If you think that it's gonna to be too many assignments to do modules by topic, break it down by time frame, whether it's week, you know, a week, a day, whatever you need it to be to make that organization work. But the key is having a routine and following through so that students know what to expect.